Hi guys, this is going to be for my Sagittarius and this is going to be for the week of the 9th through the 14th of January. I know I'll be missing a day or two, okay? I haven't been feeling well. I am not 100% better right now, but I feel a lot better than the way I was feeling. So I'm going to go as long as I can. I'll stop when I get tired. It could be I got sick because I was an emotional wreck. I have um, put my little dog to sleep. I call him a puppy. He was old. And he was in pain. So I think because my vibration was so low and I was so sad, it made me susceptible to getting sick. My personal feeling, opinion. So Sagittarius, this is going to be for you. And you know I love you guys. You know that. You know that. Lovers. The hermit. Going with him. Wow. The end of a cycle, the beginning of something new for you. The six of wands. Putting something behind you. The Prince of Pentacles. This could become an earth energy. Um, very grounded earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, or um, Capricorn. Piece of my pirate pyrite book off and i do see that you have the gift of sight and i see that you're thinking about communicating possibly with someone from the past or this could be an air energy in your environment who is either a gemini a libra or an aquarius she might be telling you, giving you some advice, maybe. And then the Ace of Cups, Abundance. And the Hierophant. Could be marriage. Could be a contract of some sort. But whatever it is, it's binding. Hmm. We're going to see the lovers or not. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Let's try again. The lovers say gently. Show me the lovers. Let's see. Are you nice to the cards, they're nice to you. Right? <laughs> mm. The eight of 
wand something is coming with speed there's something progressing action it's an exciting time for you Sag I see the two pentacles balance you're gonna have a little up and down which ups and downs but you're gonna be able to um adapt you're juggling life and money at the same time aren't you eh. just don't be in the mindset of lack okay don't let your mind take over i see the knight of cups some kind of romantic proposal or some kind of offer is, offer is coming your way. I see that you're going to go within. The hermit. Let's see the hermit here. What is the hermit? And you're going to come up with some new ideas. New ideas on what? How to make money. New plans. Well, whatever it is, you're going to have success. And you're going to have a lot of mental clarity. However, some sadness is going to happen, but you know, life, life is like that. We have the highs and we have the lows. We have the good and we have the bad. The thing about it is when we do go through those dark periods, we don't stay there for long. We look at the situation, we accept it, and we have to pick ourselves back up. We don't want to be stuck down there in that negativity, okay? Because it feeds negative things that we don't want fed. So you get out of that sadness pretty fast too. You got the nine of cups. Your wishes come true. You're realizing. Mm. You're realizing your dreams and your happiness and everything is fulfilled. The death card. The six of pentacles, giving and receiving. Balance is restored. Excuse me. And the two of cups, partnerships, unity, love, compatibility. Then I see the king of swords. <laughs> this could be you, I guess, being truthful with yourself. Um, the card says structure, routine, intelligent, rational, logical. I think you're about to communicate to someone or to your partner certain things, but not like in a bad way, just like how you feel or what you think you, the possibilities could be. And I see the strength card. You have a lot of inner strength. Use it. Believe in you. And the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. On top of the Six of Wands came the Queen of Wands. Which could be you, Sagittarius, okay? Because you are a fire. You got good business sense. You need to use it. You need to use it. You're very confident. You know how to attract the money or you know how to attract the things that you need and want. I do see that you're also very nurturing. I got the Queen of Cups here. You have a great imagination. And I see that you want to return to your roots. To one's roots. Childhood memories from the past. What are you thinking about the past? You're thinking about something. What are you thinking about? Maybe growing up? The Prince of Pentacles came the Empress. Now this could be pregnancy, fertility motherhood sensuality sexuality grounding nurturing creativity it could be so many things harmony a lot of beautiful things the empress represents it could be you being grounded in your feminine or 
or your divine feminine. Above this, uh, I was going to say above this lover and the lover card came up. Princess, the I'm sorry, the empress and the lovers. And you're going to have some kind of decision to make. What are you going to have? You're going to be like, this is two of swords. Or you're going to have to call a truce. Maybe y'all had a disagreement. Or you got a decision, man. You got a decision. It's a decision. It's a stressful decision you're going to have to make. And the Princess of Cups. Above that came the Eight of Cups. You feel like you want to withdraw. You want to walk away. You reach your limit. Just think about it. I see, you know, the moon is in this card also. Okay, so that could be not seeing things too clearly also. But you follow your intuition. Whatever your intuition tells you, okay, you do. And you're thinking about people lying and stuff like that. This is the Seven of Swords. Cheating. You're worried about all these things. These did. These could be your past traumas that you're worried about. And here's the hair front again. This is an institution. This is a this is a binding contract here. This could be love and this could be business. Hmm. I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. You got to heal from the past, okay? You cannot keep letting that past destroy your present and your possibilities, okay? So who is this Queen of Swords, this energy? Hmm burden <laughs> oh, excuse me i'm sorry oh, i just don't know oh, my body even my foot bottom hurts me but i have no fever today okay the ten of um wands is this woman gonna communicate this air <laughs> hold on Excuse me. Okay. If my daughter saw me doing that on TV, on that TV, on YouTube, <laughs> they would die laughing, man. My kids are so funny. Because they always laugh when I drink water. Because I would guzzle that whole bottle in one, just without even thinking, you know. <laughs> so anyway there's going to be some kind of communication you're going to feel overloaded and overburdened with it and you're going to feel like you got extra responsibility and at the same time you're going to feel like your heart is breaking and then you're being betrayed you're going to feel lonely it could be now your emotional self okay but this is some kind of sadness Some kind of grief. This is the Three of Swords. So, and I see the Emperor. No matter what, you're still gonna be pretty stable, okay? No matter the extra burden or whatever is gonna be breaking your heart, just remember it's part of life. Life has ups and downs. Don't stay in the downs too long. You feed negative energies when you do that and you lose control, okay? And you become a prisoner in your mind and you don't want this. You don't want that. You hear me? You need to wake it up. And on top of the Ace of Cups came the Star card. So don't you worry. Everything is going to be just fine. 
And you're going to have a couple of paths to choose from. I got the two of wands. It's either you're longing to go on a vacation or you have a choice, a decision to make. Remember, you only have one destiny, but you choose which route you take. You got a decision to make. And you are the high priestess. Some things you're not meant to know. Okay? But however, use your intuition and look within and you will find the answers. You will find the answers. Whatever this broken heart is, it's not gonna last long. I don't think it's gonna be like a you know, like anything major. Because nothing here is afterwards is bad to me. So the hair fun. I say wedding bells are in the air. My personal opinion. In the three of pentacles, I always feel that the universe is working in your favor, working something, if it's working, and something you cannot stop it, okay? You're building something, this is some kind of um, partnership. And then the four of pentacles, you're going to learn how to budget, you're going to need to know how to budget your money. Or you might be holding on to some people that you need to be letting go of. And then I got the Nine of Swords. You're having some kind of fear and anxiety over something. Negative thoughts. You feel overwhelmed. Hmm. You feel guilty over something. You need to go back to the past and start healing, okay? Start healing and taking care of you. Everything will work out. If you believe. I love you, darling, so much. All of you. Thank you so very much for being here with me. Keep your chin up. Okay? <laughs>